Hello, this is Scott. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about uh, both commercial data science platforms as well as open source. Today we're talking about a commercial platform, Spotfire Data Science, and specifically we're going to be doing a very quick tour of uh, some capabilities within the admin function uh, for Spotfire Data Science. So um, it's going to be very uh, one of the reasons it's going to be very quick is the fact that I'm a data administrator. I'm actually not an admin for the system itself. So I will be uh, demonstrating primarily from the help, which is not necessarily a bad thing within Spotfire Data Science because um, the help is really quite quite nice. It's complete. It's very easy to read and follow. So uh, uh, it's, so as far as commercial platforms go, this is this is really kind of a nice piece. So um, looking at the console itself, if you do have permissions, you will get to see something that I'm, I'm showing here, primarily this, um, uh, this piece right here, um, and then the different functionality uh, within it. Within it. Um, excuse me, let me scroll down a little bit. One is the the license information panel, make that a little bit larger so that you can see it. But in here you get the data science um, version, when the system expires, what is actually licensed within um, the platform, enabled the machine, uh, MAC address, etc. So uh, you get that. You also get um, out of the total number of roles that you have, um, what's filled, so some analytics based upon your user base as well. Then the different features are described here, um, and I believe this is publicly available um, if you go into TIBCO, Spotfire Data Science, um, and search for the documentation. Uh, I believe that you can actually see this without actually owning um, a license of the platform. There's all kinds of information on configuration of emails, um, the authentication, um, what kind of deployment you want to do. So I'll be doing, uh, well, I've already done a couple of um, videos on that, but we'll be doing some more whether you execute and deploy to PFA or PMML, um, JPMML, um, et cetera. And uh, so anyway, I won't go really any further other than to say that all of this is, is available, including um, the event logs where you can download um, all of the user and usage statistics within the platform as, as well. I guess, um, well, we could take a quick look. Uh, again, the, the event long is, is downloadable. You can see that, but let's take a quick look at the usage uh, statistics and what that looks like. Um, you can see here by user name, uh, their email, um, creation date, uh, and, and the, their last login, et cetera. So all this is information is, again, is available within the help. Um, hopefully this has been worth your time and please uh, come back to the channel and, and see us again.